All right, so I came into Walmart, totally not even expecting this. I was just looking at the Pokemon booster packs. And look down here, there is a new little mystery item right here. So um, let's take a look at it real fast. Brand new Mega Mystery Power Box. I'm gonna assume it's the same as these right here, the older ones, they're just newer ones. Um, it looks like it has five booster packs, one mystery pack, two vintage sample or preview packs, and one foil card. They're opening up a mega mystery power box. This is not just a mystery power box, but a mega mystery power box. I'm talking the Pokemon Mega Mystery Power Box. Well, well, well. Look who's back. What is up, my breaking family? Sending some positive vibes in your direction. And today, we are doing a Pokemon Mega Mystery Power Box opening. These are brand new in stores right now. I found this at a Meyer location. You're seeing footage right now of me actually finding it in a Meyer, but we have not seen Mega Pokemon Mystery Power Boxes since 2017. So this is actually a, a really big surprise. So let's go ahead and take a look at what is possibly inside of this. So right here, the front and the back are almost the same, but right here on the very front, we do see a graded, a PSA 9 Champions Path Charizard V as well as a Vivid Voltage Rainbow Rare Pikachu VMAX PSA 9. We see Platinum Arceus, we see Evolutions. If we go to the back, we actually see this jumbo card of Articuno, Moltres, and Zapdos. Mini Portfolio, uh, we see Shining Legends, uh, Mewtwo GX. But inside, five booster packs and one bonus pack, one collector's album, and one online code card. Now here's the thing, it does say look for mystery cards or packs seated one out of every 20 boxes. That doesn't mean if you buy 20 boxes, you're gonna be guaranteed to get one. It's just kind of like the average. Now this is packaged by a third party company, not the Pokemon uh, company, a third party company. So let's go ahead and open this up. It does retail for $40. So it is a little bit more on the expensive side. If you do wanna see the little Thing, uh, the little statement right there at the very bottom. Um, it tells you everything packaged and, and all that stuff directly from secondary market, all that stuff. So anyways, I wanna see what is inside of this Pokemon Mega Mystery Power Box. So let's go ahead and open this up right now. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, especially if you want to see more Pokemon Mega Mystery Power Boxes or Mystery Boxes in general. Hit that subscribe button right now. We are on the road to 1 million subscribers. Whew. All right, here we go. And let me know in the comment section. I want you to tell me in the comments, would you spend $40 USD, $40 on this Pokemon Mega Mystery Power Box without knowing what is inside. So, all right, so take a look at this. There is a cover right there that is blocking the contents of it. So you literally have to rip this open to figure out what is inside. So I'm gonna put this on the camera down here and then I'm going to rip it open. Oh, wow, I actually see, oh, interesting. This is very, very interesting. Okay, some Pokemon ASMR, here we go. We'll put that right down there to the side. Let's, uh, let's, there's a, a big package for just a little amount of contents. Let's look one by one. Pack number one, we have Vivid Voltage. Now I'm not gonna look in the box. We are gonna open this up one by one together, Breaking Family. All right, here we go. Now, when it comes to uh, when it comes to mystery power boxes, whether it be the Omega version or not, I particularly, me personally, I would not buy them secondhand unless I saw them at an actual like Walmart or Meyer or I don't know if Target's going to carry them uh, because these can easily be weighed, especially if energy, especially if there's graded Pokemon cards inside of them. I wouldn't take that chance. Um, I'm buying them on, on a, like a, oh, there we go, Zacian. Very, very nice. Whoo, starting off with an amazing rare and a Regirock. Now, that's just me personally. So I would not buy these 
me personally, I would not buy them uh, unless I saw them actually in like a Meyer or a Walmart. I found these at a Meyer store, so uh, just they're so easily you can so easily weigh them, and I'm not willing to take that chance. Uh, and there's the code card right there. And plus, I honestly probably wouldn't pay more than forty dollars for it. Maybe maybe forty five, but all right, here we go. We have. An album with a Crimson Invasion booster pack inside of it. So, remember, $40 is what we paid for this. So, let's... I'm hoping that we at least get at least get our, 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 uh, our money's worth when it comes to this right here. And Vivid Voltage, great set. Crimson Invasion, something a little bit older from Sun and Moon. So, uh, no complaints there at all. We have Miss Drevious. Spoink! Going into a Houndour Jigglypuff. We got Execute. We got Energy. Put that in the filing cabinet right back there. I do have to show the filing cabinet at 1 million subscribers. Sincino, Magikarp, and an Altaria for our rare. And there's the code card right there for booster pack number two. Did I show you the last code card? I think I did. All right, here we go. We have Roaring Skies. Wow. And look, <laughs> look at how beat up this package is right here. Woo okay. Interesting, interesting. It almost makes you kind of want to like preserve it and never open it up, you know, kind of keep it on a shelf. But we're going to open it up anyway. No, we're not going to keep it sealed. This is a Pokemon opening. We want to see it opened up, right? So let's, uh, honestly, I'm, I'm not complaining so far, which is weird for me to say for third-party Pokemon cards. There's the code card right there. And that will unlock the Gardevoir, the Ralts, uh, as well, the whole line. And there is the Genesect coin. I remember seeing these uh, in stores very, very frequently. Roaring Skies, of course, this set in, uh, in particular had a Shaman EX inside of it, which was extremely playable. And everybody was trying to get... Uh, a Shaman EX to play in their competitive Pokemon deck. We got Inke stealing all the food. Dratini, Halucha. We got Cascoon, Togetic, Wally, Sil Silcoon. That, that, was my, that was my impression. That was good, right? That was good, right? That was a good Wally impression. Shuppet and an Unpheasant, not so pleasant. Three booster packs in. And there's the code card for that one. Now remember, it did say five booster packs and one bonus pack, so I don't know what's considered the bonus pack. And then we have Fates Collide. I'm actually, like, really impressed with what I'm seeing right now. A Fates Collide booster pack with Alakazam EX on it. Whew, okay, okay. Let's see if we can pull a secret rare Alakazam EX. Let's throw that Alakazam up on the screen right now because it is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful card. Obviously, this is from the XY era, the Pokemon XY era. We got Coffern, <clears throat> Volibi, Solosis, Cottoner, Fossil Excavation Kit. All right, that's enough of that. Kabuto, Kabutops, and a Bronzong for the rare. Do me a favor, hit the like button right now. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it, especially if you're very interested in uh, these types of openings. We have Battle Styles as our next booster pack. So two newer ones, two older ones, a nice variety for $40. Is it worth $80, $90, $100? No, it is not. <laughs> and like I said, they can easily be uh, easily be weighed. Not saying that everybody does that, but I just personally wouldn't take the chance, and it's just me. You know how I always say, it's your money. Do whatever you want with your money. We all don't think the same, right? We all have different styles and different ways we like to collect or purchase things, and there's nothing wrong with that. You do, you do whatever you are comfortable with, right? Energy. We got Mustard, not Ketchup, Bruno, Cheryl, and a Jellicent for the rare. Now... There's the code card once again. We, one, two, three, four, five. So we should have... There's some other stuff in here. So we got one more pack inside of here. We got some other stuff. We have... Here's our code card 
right here. Ooh, nice. Okay, so we got a uh, Sun and Moon Elite Trainer Box. A Detective Pikachu Booster Pack. There's one more pack inside of here. So let's go ahead and open up our Detective Pikachu Booster Pack. It's been a while since I've opened up one of these right here. We got, hey, perfect, right? Jigglypuff, Charmander, Char, Lickitung. Going into a Greninja for the rare, and there is the code card right there. All right, let's see what our last booster pack is, and that is all that's going to be inside of it. We have another Vivid Voltage in Breaking Family. That is all that is inside of there. Let's see what we are ending on Breaking Family. We have one pack left, so hang on with me. I appreciate you all joining me today. Here we go. We have ourselves. An Oshawott, Duskull, Ferroseed, Ryolu, Sandial, Energy! Today's video is a little bit shorter. I actually found this on Saturday, and now we're getting it up on Sunday. I wanted to open it up as fast as possible for all of you, so that's why today's video is a little bit shorter. Charmeleon! All right, there's the code card right there. And Breaking Family. We are ending on... Can I get a drum roll, please? Thank you. We are ending on... Oh, Executor, you ruined the party. Do you want to see the original 2017 Pokemon Mega Mystery Power Box being opened up? Watch this video right here. Hit that subscribe button. I will see all of you in the next video. And don't forget, I love every single one of you all around the world. Do it with me now. Peace, love, and a high five.